Hello friends, welcome to the new video. So today I'm going to teach you how to auto map drive when user log on. For example, I have 100 users and then uh, I configure all the users get like the public folders and also get their own private drives. So to do this, uh, first we need to go to like server nature. Okay, server nature. And then we go to group policy management. Okay. So I expand to my text IT. This, this is my organization. And then I have department, finance, HR, and IT. As in the last session, we share like that, like payroll and also recruitment. So we have group payroll and group recruitment and also public. So everyone can access all. As you see, for example, this user, this user, Mr. David, when he log on, uh, in fact, he doesn't have uh, the uh, the drive. But if we go here, we can map drive for for them. Yeah, like public, we can map. Also, like HR department, we can map for him or her. But let's say if we have one hundred user, more than one hundred. 100 user and we do this one by one so it will be a uh, take long time so he is the purpose that we want to create the auto uh, map drive for the user okay so we no need to do one by one for this okay so now i go to create in hr department okay so you can go right click on hr department create gpo and then you can put GPO, yeah, group policy slash uh, HR, for example. Okay. This one and any name, you can put any name. Okay. And then you right click on the GPO that we just created and edit. And then you go to user configuration preference. You go to window setting and map drive. Here, yeah, map drive and new map drive okay this one i want the user to access the uh, public folder okay now i go to the folder that i share here here uh, i use my ad as file server so if you have another file server that's stored in another pc you can also use the link okay use the links to access to that share folder like that Okay, so I want to like here public property, you can share. Okay, then you copy here. Okay, copy from here. Okay, and then you go here, paste. Okay, and then I reconnect. And then here I put the label. When they access, they can use letter A. Okay. And then here I can show all drive, all drive, apply, okay. Okay, so now one drive has been successfully. Now I do another drive. This one, the purpose of this, the second one is to when uh, the user uh, from like HR department, they access their uh, private drive, for example here. Okay, HR department, it has recruitment and payroll. So the permission we have already has set. So you just right click, property, share, and copy this one. Okay, the same. Okay. Right click again, new. Oh, this one we just open it, yeah. Okay, then you paste here. Yeah. In another term, you can also write like that, slash username, like this. Yeah, slash username, like this. But since the uh, permission that we have already set, so no need for this one. Okay. And then we connect. I choose letter. And then I put, like, letter Y. Okay. Show all. Apply. Okay. Okay, after this, you go to your command prompt, cmd, run as administrator, we recommend tp, update, slash force, yeah, this one, uh, to force our policy updated. Okay, after it's successful, 
we go to our client. Okay, it's like, oh, really one. I close it, it's not a success. GP, GP update. It's of course. Hmm. Okay, wait and here finish. Uh, okay, it's finished. So now I go to my client. Okay, my client. I sign it out. Okay. So this will be applied to uh, all group under HR. Okay, now I log in. Mr. David again. Okay. Let's see if it apply or not. Okay, now it's locked in. Let's go. We see. Okay, you see. You see the method, the network try come auto automatically. So we need we no need to do manual one by one. Okay, you see for this Mr. Uh, David. Uh, we talked in the lesson, in the previous lesson. He can access only the payroll. But in fact, in HR department, it has. Uh, another one subfolder name name uh, here name recruitment you see so the permission we have already said even though we do like that the group policy so the it, it also comes with the permission so he can access only the payroll now let to verify we can split the user okay i can split the user i'll split user so let's take the user uh, Christine recruitment. Yeah, Christine, Chris Tin. Okay, Chris Tin, and then enter the password. Okay, let's see. So this user also come with public and also another HR department name recruitment. So let's see if it's come like that or not. Okay, you see, it's come public and recruitment not payroll you see like this okay uh, in another term if you find your map drive with group policy not working we also have another term to do you, you just edit on it and then you go to preference this one in case some of user is not working for example this one is not uh, working for example like uh, public is not working you can property with it or this one not working you can property with it it has another comment you can click on run in lock user and also uh, item label target okay and then you put target and then you put in then you can choose like group so uh, the folder that we have set the permission you want uh, it set as group or set as individual individual you use user so if you set with group like for example i use set as group a security group so i can browse the group to apply the map drive and then i put ghr okay group hr so it will apply to all user under hr like that so this one just in case uh, it's not working when you use group policy okay okay that's all everyone Thanks for the lesson today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.